Hello everybody, welcome to another QML tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to be discussing system palette element, and uh, so let's get right started here. I have a open project, it's just our regular old hello world project that we're used to, and uh, yeah, so anyways, first thing that we need to do is we need to create the element, system palette element, okay, and I'm going to give it the ID, okay, of uh, palette, why not? So what is system palette exactly? System palette allows us to kind of connect to the operating system and everything that we're using, okay, and make it so that we can use the things that the operating system are using for say like our windows, right? And like the window color of the, uh, of the text right here, okay? And uh, yeah, it, it, but to better ex show you this, um, let's do this. Let's say color is equal to black, right? Let's save and run this. Our normal Hello World app, and we click on it and it closes. But instead of black, let's say palette, okay? And we'll say window, right? Save and run this. And you'll see that it kind of just takes it and shoves it right into how it should look. You know, the background color is exactly the color of the top of the window. It makes it really nice, right? So now let's go down to our text down here, okay? And we'll say color, and we'll say palette. And we'll just say text. Oops. Text. Run that, and it looks real nice. It's very integrated right now we can say uh, we could have said window text save and run it you'll see that it matches it up to this color up here that it's using um, yeah to learn more about system palette we just simply open up the help page and look through it and check out each one of the uh, each one of the things right so um, let's make a uh, let's Let's do a couple things with this real quick, okay? Let's, we already have the background set how we want it, okay? We have some text here. Um, let's create a rectangle. Okay, and I'm gonna copy this right here. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna type it out. With equals parent with, should have copied it parent, uh, with height, is equal to parent dot height dash divided by 10 okay and we're gonna say anchors dot bottom or having trouble today bottom parent dot bottom okay and for the color should we use color should we use let's use a gradient say gradient and give it our gradient Now let's add some gradient stops. And we'll say the position for this one is going to be uh, 0 0.1, okay? And the color is going to be, um, let's see here, QT. Actually, let's just set this up so I can show you real quick. Uh, green. Take this and we're going to copy it twice and we'll say black. Okay, let's, and we need to set the position of this one to be high. Uh, we'll say 0.9. All right, save and run. All right, we got this thing down here. Uh, we can tell that black one is all the way at the bottom and green is at the top right there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, for right here, we're going to say, uh, Qt dot darker, okay. Then we're gonna say palette dot window. And then we're gonna make it darker, which I 1.5, and then all the way at the bottom we want it to be black. So let's go ahead and run that, and that does look a lot better. But let's actually take and just make this system palette uh, window.
All right, that looks good. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. We'll say eight. I really like that. Okay, now let's take this text and whatnot that we have right here in this mouse area. Let's actually just get rid of this mouse area. And let's... Uh, clean this code up. And let's create a button. So we'll say rectangle. And we're going to wrap it around this text right here. We'll say ID of, uh, I'm just going to call it play for right now. Uh, play rec, we'll say. Play rec. Okay. And we'll say width is equal to parent dot width dash divided by four. And the height is equal to parent dot height dash divided by uh, eight. So the same as our, our rectangle up there, um, but the width being cut in four. We'll say the color, okay, is equal to palette dot button. Okay. Now for the text color, we're going to say palette button text, right? And we're going to say we want it to center in to our play rec. Okay. And hello world, we'll just make that into hello for right now. So let's save this and run this. So now we have a button over here. And uh, if we uh, click on it, it does nothing whatsoever um, because we have no mouse area in it. So uh, color palette button, uh, I'm not really liking that color too much. So what we could do is we could say qt.darker and palette button. Or a little semicolon, and we'll say by two, make it real darker. There we go. I do like that, but I think it's a little bit too dark, so 1.7 we'll try. Okay, that's good. Now let's go give our, I actually like 1.4 even better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, let's go give it a radius of 20. Okay, and let's give it some border stuff. For the color, we're going to say palette text. Okay. Then for the uh, width, we'll just set it to be three. Save and run that. Okay. Uh, we're going to say actually qt.lighter palette.text. And we'll say by one. Point four. We'll give that a shot. Okay, I like that. Let's bring the width down to one. Save and run that. Okay, that's a lot better. That is real good, actually. Okay, so now we have this rectangle right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to say that this is going to be equal to row. So let's set an ID to it. ID... Uh, bottom bar okay and let's say anchors uh, right actually let's put our anchors below our border um, I like to do that anchors dot right we'll just do it the correct way left parent left we're not going to say that actually. We're going to say bottom bar. And we're going to say left margin. We're going to say bottom bar dot width dash divided by um, and let's say anchor, oh, bottom parent dot 
bottom. And just for good measure, we'll just say bottom bar, though. Okay, let's uh, clean this up some. And let's run this to see what it looks like. A little bit too far off there. And let's uh, take that and bring it back to the bottom bar divided by 20. Nah, I still don't like that. I'll say divided by 30. And I'll say divided by 40. Okay, much better. And let's give some uh, math round around that just in case. Okay, now let's add a mouse area. Let's say anchors, fill, play rack. And that's all we need for right now. Let's give it an ID actually. ID of uh, play mouse area. And let's anchor center this into our play mouse area. Let's clean our code up and let's run this. Okay, I like that. Now let's take and copy our gradient from right here. Okay, and let's go and put it into our color right there. Okay. Let's give that a shot. Oh yeah, that's starting to look good. And let's take and uh, change this around though so that this one right here is 9 and this one is about 1. Eh, not such a fan. Maybe if we make it darker. Okay, yeah, I do like that a little bit better. That is definitely looking a lot better. Anyways, um, I am Joseph. That is System Palette. Take care. In our next couple of tutorials, we're going to be talking about uh, QT uh, Multimedia and how to use it. Have a good one. Bye.